And we start with skulls and bones found at a construction site in West Sacramento. Late today, investigators determined they are part of California history. Good evening, I'm Edie Lambert. And I'm Rob Malcolm. In tonight for Gulfson Dart, experts at Chico State's Human ID Unit determined the remains are from Native Americans who lived centuries ago. Construction workers discovered two skulls and bones near Blue Rock Street and Bayside Road in the Southport area of West Sacramento. KCRA3's David Beenick is live for us at the site with how these remains were found not once but actually twice, David. That's right, Edie. The remains, these bones and skulls, are underneath a piece of plastic in that pile of fresh dirt behind me, right next to a three foot deep trench that workers were digging. And now that we know what these remains are, the big question is why their discovery was not reported sooner. Investigators inspected a pile of fresh dirt at this construction site in West Sacramento, where police say at least two human skulls and other bones were first found yesterday morning. Uh, I guess the construction workers uh, found the skull and then they reported it to their supervisor. But it wasn't until several hours later when a passerby also spotted the bones that police were notified of the discovery and an investigation began into whether the remains might be part of a Native American burial location. Right now the coroner just got on scene and uh, they they believe they are human, human, uh, two human skulls that they found, but they're still going to be turning over the dirt to see if uh, they can find any additional bones or skulls. Police put up yellow tape around the discovery site and sent pictures of the skulls to an archaeological expert. According to the website of the group California Indian Legal Services, when potential Indian remains are found, the activity that exposed the remains should stop immediately. However, at the West Sacramento site today, workers continued to use heavy machinery about 100 feet away. They've been digging and grading and packing and repacking and regrading. Neighbor Frank San Marco says with the Sacramento River so close and other Indian remains having been previously found nearby, he wouldn't be surprised if that's what these bones turn out to be. But he says he can't imagine anyone would purposefully ignore them. I don't think that would happen, in my honest opinion. Uh, these people here are, are good folks, and uh, they pay attention, and they're very respectful. Now, a company called Discovery Homes, based in Concord, is responsible for this housing development. And this afternoon, a lawyer for Discovery Home tells KCRA3 that they believe that these are, quote, isolated remains. However, the company could not immediately say if work on the entire project will have to come to a halt. Live in West Sacramento, David Beanie, KCRA 3 News. So, David, it's quite a find. So, what happens next to those remains? Well, an organization called the Native American Heritage Commission, a statewide organization, will now be charged with the job of trying to determine which tribe these remains belong to. And then it'll be up to the living descendants of that tribe to make a recommendation about what to do. All right, David Beanie, West Sacramento. David, thank you.